Red Dead Online episode. And if you enjoyed this video, please go and throw a bunch of small dogs into a gold mine that is about to explode and call it the Golden Murphy Hassaker, as this would really help generate a lot of YouTube money. And after long, hard hours of dying, crying, lying, dying, bleeding, and fapping. I finally got into 24 gold bars, just one short of getting a moonshine shack, which is what I want. And I go to go to Madame Bazaar and I find some uh, treasure chests and I am curious so I go and open them and I just so happen to have gotten a couple thousand dollars, which I bet you that that was very legit of me, but um, yeah, I, I, I definitely made all of it. I did actually spend these on useful things though, so it's not like I, I just went and wasted it all. I actually did waste like a thousand dollars on horse items, but let's but let's ignore that. I then go ahead and buy a boon chain shack for 25 gold bars, leaving me with 10 behind, which I definitely earned with a hard bounty hunting cash. I actually probably did, but... <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, so I bought it just east of soggy wheat, what, just west of Len Lemonade. I, I'm smart. I I, I know I, I I know the directions of places. Yeah, so I get it just west of Lemonade, and I'm on my way. So anyway, I get over to the Moonshine Shack, and well, I try and get myself a very nice cinematic photo, but. You know, Rockstar kind of hates me, so I, it, it more looked like a confused man wandering outside of a bar, so yeah. But eventually, I end up nailing that shot, so yeah, I mean, give me that Emmy boy, just get out of here. Oh, any other producer, I am a god, I, I have the best shots, get out of here. Best YouTuber 2020, Golden Murphy man. I do, however, end up hitting my face on a doorway, however, so yeah, ouch, ouch, that... And I see this old lady just sitting there, like, you know, like, it looks like she's doing something. So I'm like, oh, hey, I just bought this place, and hello, my name is Golden Murphy Man, are you subscribed? But no, she's like, oh, well, you need to kill some people, and then you also need to unkill somebody. I'm like, wow, that's rude. Can you not? Can, can you be nice, please? No? I know that she dislikes my videos. What, what a hater. Jeez. Hashtag confirmed moonshine lady equals hater and she be and so basically what she said is So there's this one French boy who be going cook cook in basement and I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, I, I have one of those the, yeah <laughs> And so yeah, I ba basically I need to go and capture him and yeah <laughs> And I'm like, okay, that's chill fam. Just sub to me afterwards. That's cool And then she becomes hater to nice boy even though she's a girl. <laughs> and yeah, so basically I get there and I am faced with an option. A, I can go and shoot them all in the face with my dead eye really fast and get it over with, or I can try and sneak through and stab them with my throwing knife. And if you don't know, I'm a throwing knife god, so I decide to go with the throwing knife option, which was obviously the most smart idea I ever had. And yeah, I end up killing them all, going to free Marcel, which, so yeah, I, now he basically owes me. And I decide to ride him back on my horse, and he decides to place his hands on my hips, and I'm like, whoa bro, it's okay if you kiss each other in France, but I didn't know that you fricked each other. That's something that I didn't know. Who knew? And then when I get back, maybe is like, okay, bro, now you need to go and steal some moonshine since already since her cook is too stupid, he can't just make it himself. And I'm like, okay, I guess that this is my shop for now on. Thanks for doing crap, there, Maggie. 
and uh, this time when I get there, I once again decide, since it worked so well last time, that I would go and be silent and sneaky once again. And this obviously works very well for me. I didn't get tackled, and I did not get shot 10 times by all directions. It, it should be only by one direction, which is a crappy band, and also a crappy way to get shot. And most importantly, I make sure that I teabag his face, because that's what all good citizens do. Anyway, I continue along, and I steal the wagon, and I go and I bring it back to the Moonshine Shack so that it can be sold. But honestly though, this game is probably the best looking game on my entire uh, computer, so congrats to Rockstar on that. But finally, they make a good game with good graphics, yay! So, and also, it didn't take them 6 years to come out with- oh wait, it, it actually took them 10, but let's pretend that it didn't. But anyway, it was a super long ride back, it took like forever, and there was a lot of people waiting to kill me, so yeah, it, it definitely went well for them. But yeah, and then Jacques shows the engine room, and it looks quite cool, honestly. It He shows me down the stairs, and yeah, it, it it's what you would think an engine room looks like. There's tons of moonshine all over the walls. Um, at least, and so yeah, I go and I help him out lifting it and stuff, and yeah, that's about all that happened there, but... Anyway guys, that was all for this video. Please leave a like, please subscribe, it makes my day, it makes my month, it makes me so happy whenever you guys subscribe. So yeah, please like, please turn on them notifications, please subscribe, and then um, yeah, share it around, um, spread the good word, and um, yeah, um, thank you for watching, and stay humble. Even